Hello. Welcome to the greenhouse. Yes, this is my greenhouse. Wait on one moment. What's so nice of you to, so nice of you to come and have a look. So, there it is. She's built, she's waiting for electrics. I've just got to get electrics put in there and then it's really kind of all done. Now, if you notice down there, there's a competition at the end of this video to win four of these nail mats. I could not have done this greenhouse without a nail mat and that has proved its money. <gasps> but I mean, moon, <laughs> I got that given. But Mac Alpine's gonna send out four nail mats. So watch the end of this and I'll tell you how to win it. But let's just show you how I built this. Now, if you ever wanna support myself or the Potty Mouth Garden Club, two pound a month on Patreon, that would be fantastic. This is a little bit of advertise, a personal advertising by myself. Pop over to the Patreon, there's a link down there below, two pound a month and it just helps kind of tick this channel and the, the potty mouth as well. That would be fantastic if you would be so kind. So, the great, huge greenhouse build begins. So I got the six foot by four foot. So six foot across by four foot down. Like I say, it's gonna go in that garden there on the yard. What I wanna do is just basically build up the frame. That, as you can see, is the base. So we're just gonna have to, I'm gonna do that later. I just wanna really build, have a look actually, read the instructions, have a look what they do and build up the, you know, the back, the sides and the roof all ready to go. This is the, the air vent, you know, it's like, a, it's like an automatic wax filled, I think, that'll open one of the, the windows. So that, that'll come kind of halfway through the build, I think. So, but we'll get this done first. So I'm going to set it up in the garden, so I've got a nice lot of room. There we go then, as you can see, it comes in sections and each section is numbered. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, and then instructions, so you basically you tackle each one individually. So I'm guessing they're probably, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I was gonna say the back, maybe the back walls, I'll have a look. But the most important thing, and it's been known that I do follow them, I'm gonna have a look at the instructions. There we go, that's what mine, well actually it'll not look like that. Mine's the, the slightly, slightly shorter one, but it'll be that distance. So let's just get into this. I guess in there just to cover everything. A window little latch, I think. I'm not sure, to be honest. Lots of nuts, lots of bolts. I think those are the, the glass plane window clips that hold, that hold in your glass planes. You hang one from one. Lots of these clips for putting your window panes in. What else we got? Possibly the, the kind of the middle, you know, the middle sections for the cross beam. I'm gonna say maybe the door, something to do with the door frame there, possibly. And the most important thing, the instructions. Very important. Keep these all together. I'm not sure how many spare, but I think if you lose some, it's nine pound for an extra bag. Looks all straightforward. <laughs> so I started to put this together a day after I did the video. It was just too cold. And that, like you see, you can see there, I just laid it all out and just got a kind of a good bearings of it. Now, this went together okay. You know, the actual frame just screwing, you know, it was, the instructions weren't the best. I'll be honest, they weren't the best, but I just found that if I use the app, there was a, not an app, but you, if you went on the website and used the kind of PDF, there was certainly clearer the pictures. So if anybody's watching this and they're gonna be building a greenhouse from Halls, go on their website and get the PDF because the, the images are just way, way clearer. So 
I was lucky enough to kind of have this space to, to like almost trial run it to put it together as you see there just so I've got some idea of you know how it went together and just get it sorted in my head before you know like the, the real kind of joining together of everything in its like final place and then the final place is in the yard and we had I wanted to get it level and there's me with my new spirit level just making sure that the ground's actually level to do it and I was that good enough for me to be honest that now this was like the the base reel i got the base reel with it as well and it you know i slowly kind of again put that together using the drill and this is why i wanted to do it i wanted that back to be close enough to the wall as possible as close as i could possibly get so i wanted to kind of have a little test run here and you can see it was getting late at night but i wanted this is how i want the the final result to get this is one of the pinch points for me to get as close as there as possible so another thing that i didn't enjoy doing was putting this like black for the window panes like a, a kind of sealant rubber sealant it's surprising how much that hurts your thumbs after you've done even the smallest greenhouse running that plastic down it was absolutely sore as anything my thumb so this is where I was even pleased with myself. I really wanted to get this level to get as level as best and as square and as straight as possible. So basically you've got to do this. That frame wasn't nipped up tight and I could move it. And I wanted to get every side the same. And when you put the frame up, they've got their legs already attached. And it's a little bit strange because you you've got to either cut them off and that's you know i mean i'm lucky enough i've got a grinder to grind them legs off those legs would if you had soil would like sink into the soil you split them and then you just you know bed them in with cement as well but for someone that's just putting it on a on a flat base itself you didn't it was a bit more hassly than what i you know would have liked but there we go frame all done all locked in and all sorted now tightened as best i can so that was to be honest that frame is really nice it gives me the height when i actually stand in the the greenhouse as well so next was really the build you know what i mean i had to bring everything in and you can see this is where i was a little bit cramped for space but i knew how to you know assemble it by now so i've just had got bits and pieces lying all around that yard you know and i just did this by myself you know no one helped us i just kind of i just took me time and that's something that i'm not normally used to but i want to just show you these instructions so that left hand picture is the kind of part of the door and that's what you get that's all you get to kind of show you now lucky enough i'd put up my dad's greenhouse about four or five years ago probably a bit longer so i had an idea that plastic bit of like dowling was part of the door but anyway it's up and i got it kind of you know erected without the glass in and i was you know very happy with it to be honest it, it seemed to go up okay apart from certain pinch points and it's it's up there now and i've just got to kind of get that glass in so i was quite i was still nervous to be honest so as you get I'm checking everything you know and again that's good enough for me there so it's really time for the glass and this is my nervous bit i've got to get the glass in the back and then shunt it up to that wall do you know what i mean now you can kind of see the side that's what i'm working with i've got to get me good in there <laughs> and get the the actual glass in there then some sort of sort of way of like kind of just sliding it this is what i was thinking gently sliding it along you know so anyway the glass came perfectly packed yeah i could not fault that i mean this was a ton weight as well mind you one of the heavy things i've probably moved in my life by myself and even getting it down onto the floor there was some you know and to be honest i was pretty nervous do you know what i mean it's kind of this glass you know you get one break and it's gone really and steve mentioned a good thing like putting a towel against that back wall just in case you know something kind of fell and it, if it landed against the towel there was a good chance you know it, it might not kind of break but you can see the first pain is in there and you know it, it, the glass went in no problem just speed this bit up because it, it it looks all right that i'm doing it kind of nice and fast there now but honestly i was taking my time and i don't know if you can kind of see from the image there as well but i did have gloves on that was kind of you know there was a few people pointed out so if you're kind of messing with sheets of glass although it's nice and straight and everything like that it comes all packed they are it's like sharp as anything you know what i mean so there's you know safety first as well i just wanted to pull your pants up too and i wanted to just make sure 
I was, you know, d everything I was doing, I was trying to do it the correct way. And normally, mind you, that's not me. Do you know what I mean? So this is it. This is where I'm kind of, as you can see, just shunting it along ever so gently, just kind of. And this was the, the difficult bit as well, because I hadn't got it screwed, screwed to the floor. But I wanted it at the minute as close there as you can see to the and I've come up with my own idea for getting it kind of attached to the floor but that worked out great I was chuffed to bits with the way it kind of slid there and then it was I was happy as anything with it and there we go then it is in place with with the glass there so it's all kind of sorted there now I just want to show you a couple of me pinch points this is the door where the bit of plastic where it goes on the door and you'll only know that's there if you've done because the instructions don't tell you at all do you know what i mean it's just like they're so like badly printed but that little bit of plastic goes on that door and it just kind of sits there and yeah if you don't know that hopefully this video will help you kind of sort that out there was another pinch point for me as well and it was the window it comes with like what my mind does come with one window and it's just a nuisance to put together that's all i could say about it another one is to get the window you need to have a bolt in where see where that bolt is there now you need to have another bolt in there so you can slide it up that groove to attach to the window and i've looked and looked at the, the instructions to see where that happens i heard someone mentioned on a video but it was hard to find out where that you know where to put that bloody bolt and the next morning, that's me looking out my bedroom, taking a photograph of the the greenhouse I have called Little Steve. Now, to be honest, the best part of it is kind of putting like the, your, your cushions and your furnishings on. And I got these staging units. I got two of them actually from Costco and they fit brilliantly. So I'm chuffed to bits with that. And as you can see, I've got some tin foil or silver foil at the back as well. And I've got them two staging. I've got two tables, trellises in there for me plants. So that is where we are today. I'm just now waiting for electrics. So it's kind of like I say, it's all that's waiting now for is the electrics and these stagings. It's just brilliant. What I'm going to do is put one of these on either side, on this side and on the other side bring in the plants eventually you know like start bringing them in i will eventually have some chilies and maybe a couple of tomatoes in here right the way through so i can just step out the door you know and just in a little in a little secret heaven world but i was mentioning the mat now i've kind of highlighted this mat before and listen i just got sent to us it was just you know a friend on twitter there sent it brilliant to be honest i love it you can win one of these how do you win one of these the best way now is to come over it's going to be in the discord in our discord there's a link in there to join our discord there's a competition section go on to the competition section there'll be a little blue icon just hit that blue icon which will give you automatic entry and it's going to be open for seven days just to the uk only to the uk we can't post these all around the world it's <laughs> the fortune but this mat helped me out so, so many times I was on my knees trying to get it, get it sorted. So anyway, yes, pop over to Discord for this and keep in touch and watch how I grow things and bring. This is, I don't think I've mentioned this. This is really, it's a three part plan for my growing regime this year. I've always done them in the, in the hut and I've brought them out sometimes too early, the plants and they've been a bit leggy and a bit tender. This will give me, from the germination, this is the second stage, and then once they're mature, up to the, the polytunnel. So that's the plan. Fingers crossed. Look after yourselves. Take good care.